Hi guys, this is Mac here and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel, which is called Mac Club. So my guest for today is Mr. Amr Abdullah al Babud, all the way from Oman. He is the CEO of OITE. What does OITE stands for? Oman International Trade and Exhibitions. Right. So it's really amazing to have him today on my session after really we have been coordinating for the last two weeks and then we had to reset it up again. So let us welcome him today and hear how the exhibition sector helps in the economic factor for Oman's growth. So good evening, Mr. Amr. How are you? Good evening, Mr. Amr. I'm doing very well, thank you. How, how are you all doing on your end? Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Everything is safe and everything is fine and we are all, by the blessings of Allah, we are really good. Alhamdulillah, very good to hear that. And very good to be on here finally with you today. It's my great honor, as, as, as I mentioned, we have been coordinating and we have been in constantly in touch. So we wanted to make this session happen and it had happened today. So why don't you go and give a little small brief about you. Who is Mr. Amr Abdullah Babud and what is he doing for OITE and what is his future plans? So then we will take this forward. Please go ahead. Sure, thank you, Mr. So uh, as you said, uh, I'm, I'm Amr Babud. Uh, I'm currently heading um, a few companies here based in uh, based in Muscat, Oman. Um, today we're going to be speaking about exhibitions uh, because this is the main main activity, main work that our company OYTE um, carries out and has been carrying out for the last 35 years now. Um, myself, I joined OYTE in 2018. Um, before that, I was uh, back. I was in the UK. Uh, I grew up in the UK actually, so I moved out there when I was uh, when I was very very young just um, uh, just a few years old uh, my dad had uh, moved to the UK to to do his studies uh, uh, he started off by uh, by learning English uh, he then progressed uh, uh, by doing um, a few different courses he started with his undergraduate course his master's course and he moved on to his PhD so as you can guess I was there for for a very long time uh, so I did all my studies over there, uh, all the way from kindergarten, uh, sec uh, secondary school. Uh, we did our GC I did my GCSE and A level, which are the UK um, uh, UK qualifications. Uh, okay. Before spending um, before spending one year in in uh, almost a year in Egypt, uh, where I actually went to uh, work on my Arabic language, because as you can expect, I was out of the country for for so long. So I was in Cairo. Uh, which is a very good experience for me where i kind of got to learn a lot more about uh, the middle east and uh, kind of new cultures different cultures and um uh so that was my gap year after that i went on to complete my undergraduate studies in economics at the university of london uh, economics was kind of always my my interest i've always been interested in business and commerce uh, so uh, once i completed my undergraduate uh, um, in economics i went on to do a second degree in law because I've also been interested in, in law since since a young age. Um, wow. So I, sorry, go ahead. I said, oh wow, that's amazing. <laughs> yes, yes. Now economics and law are kind of some of my favorite favorite areas, and I just wanted to make sure that I could I could get my studies done kind of before I moved on to the next stage in my in my career and in my life. Um, I then went ahead and did a. Uh, uh, graduate diploma in law, a, a postgraduate diploma in law, uh, uh, before uh, spending five years of working as an in-house lawyer in, in London, uh, dealing with um, dealing with commercial law contracts, negotiation, litigation. Uh, so kind of that was my working, five-year working period in, in London. Mm -hmm. At which point I decided to move to Oman uh, to see what opportunities there are over here, because of course many of my family are, are living here and you know, I have a very strong connection to the country. I would come maybe once once every year. Um, so uh, I, I, I saw some opportunity here, which I was really interested in getting involved in. Uh, and that's when I started at OITE, where actually initially I started kind of from a legal perspective. Of course, my background, my working background is in law. I was assisting by looking at some of the contractual negotiations, agreements, uh, providing my advice and input uh, from from that side, while also learning about the law in Oman, because of course it's very different to law back back in back in the UK. Uh, so that's that's how my kind of story started with with OITE, um, and then I think it was perhaps luck or or, or timing, but the the previous uh, MD, um, previous managing director, was actually on his way out at the time, 
So the company was looking for a new leader. And uh, I think uh, this was maybe six months, uh, six to nine months into my time at the company, at which point I got involved in many different things. I started to learn about how the company functions, um, uh, uh, kind of uh, who are the stakeholders, uh, what kind of marketing the company is doing, what are the operations, uh, how does the finance and audit work in the company, sales. So I started to get a good understanding uh, and get to know kind of all our stakeholders very well. And alhamdulillah, I was then cho uh, chosen at that point to, to become the CEO of OIT in 2019. <laughs> Great that, mashallah. So that's a small journey of yours from London to all the way to Oman, back home, and then you're leading your own company, which is OITE. I Correct. have been connected with OIT many times when I was in Oman. So I really enjoy the way your company used to organize the exhibitions in Oman Expo Center. And now yes. currently I see Oman Convention Center is ready as well. So where you've been organizing different exhibitions for different products and brands. Am I right in saying that? That's, that's correct. Uh, of course, we've been organizing exhibitions for 35 years. So uh, some of our exhibitions were the first in the country and, and possibly some of the earliest in the whole of the region as well. Uh, mm -hmm. So it was, uh, it was kind of uh, groundbreaking stuff at the time. It was at the old exhibition center back then. Of course, now we have a, have a brand new exhibition center, which is really beautiful. Uh, it's kind of one of the top in, in, in the whole world, actually. And it's only a few years, few years old. So we're very excited to, to carry out more of our exhibitions, conferences on a more global, global scale within, within, this, within this exhibition center. Definitely, definitely. And I'm looking forward to having all types of event, uh, events and the exhibitions happening in Oman Convention Center under the banner of OITE as well. So the fact is that at the moment, we all know because of COVID-19, a lot of things have been tightly locked up and yeah. we're not having events, not able to organize. That's the main reason that the 2020s Expo has been rescheduled and been postponed for this year and moved to next year. So how is Oman market looking at, into the exhibition uh, industry, which is not happening currently? So what is your plans for your company for organizing the events, inshallah, in future? And how do you see OIT growing in Oman for the economic factors? Sure. So, yes, I mean, the current situation with COVID was a big shock for everyone. It's not anything which uh, most of us would have guessed would have happened, um, especially in the scale that it did happen. Even when it first started, we didn't think it would get to this level where whole countries and economies, the whole globe has, has really shut down. So it was a big shock. Um, up until COVID, the exhibition industry in Oman was doing very, very well. Um, there were many exhibitions happening, large scale exhibitions with large international participation from over um, from most of the countries worldwide. I mean, if you look at some of our exhibitions, we would have over over 35 countries participating uh, in our exhibitions. Um, people flying here for five days, for a week, uh, new companies coming in, I've never been to the region before. Um, many jobs have been created as a result of the exhibition industry. I mean, uh, of course, not just jobs directly within uh, a company like OITE, but even the kind of in, in, uh, the indirect jobs, such as those who are building the stands at the exhibition center, uh, the, the, the taxis, the buses, the, the airlines, the whole, the whole hospitality sector was really benefiting from from this industry. So what was happening was was very good, was 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 a big positive. And Oman was 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 becoming the after Dubai, the, the premier place for exhibitions to be taking place in the GCC. So we were in a very, very, very good place, alhamdulillah. And uh, the government was 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 supporting, as you know, with the new airport exhibition center, all the brand new hotels that that, that were coming here. So that's something to be proud of, I think. And I think what has happened since COVID really entered into Oman in kind of March time. Uh, uh, there's been, uh, a lot of people have been depressed about what's happening. Of course, many lives have been lost, many people have been affected and businesses have completely, uh, have completely shut down. But I think it's just a matter of time. I mean, uh, um, uh, there's, always, there's always crisis which happened and I think you just have to come out of that. So as a country, as a company, we've been thinking of solutions of how do we get out of the situation? Uh, so we've been looking around the world to see what others have done. We've also tried to use our own own invention and innovation. We've really relied on uh, 
technology. Technology is is kind of the way out in in, in many many such um, circumstances. So for us, exhibitions was always about the human touch. I mean, exhibitions. Why do people love exhibitions? Right? Really, why, why has exhibitions been around for for hundreds of years? It's because when you really get to meet a person, you really get to understand uh, what 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 they're all about. What are they trying to sell? Uh, what is the product they have? You can touch and feel it. So it's all about the human interaction. So COVID took away this human interaction by the social distancing, by all the rules and regulations uh, around this area. So uh, what you've seen in the last few months is a big uptake of online events, um, um, online kind of B2B, um, B2B events, exhibitions as well, uh, where you're able to, to discuss, chat, meet. Um, this technology is still not where it should be uh, because it's never been required so much in the past. Uh, but going forward, uh, it, of course, it's a big area with there's going to be a lot of investment and many events will be taking place online. But this technology, I think at least for the next 10 years, will not take away from the real physical human interaction that you get at our exhibitions. And so uh, this is uh, exhibitions are bread and butter. It's, it's our history and will also be our future. But what we've done is that we're going to be creating hybrid events. So when exhibitions, inshallah, come back, maybe in the next three months, and maybe in the next six months, it's going to be a hybrid version. So, for example, you must throw, for any reason, if you're not able to attend our exhibition, you're able to log in online, you're able to see uh, uh, live demos, live discussions with everyone at the exhibition. You'll be taken on a 360 tour of the whole exhibition center. You can ask your questions, you can attend the conference from, from the comfort of your own, own, own home. So this is something very new, very exciting that- um, I, guess, uh, I guess that's the future. That, that's the future. That's the future. And uh, uh, we're not saying exhibitions are going. Exhibitions are still vital part of, of, of marketing, of development, of developing economies. But you have to bring this technology into, in, in, into this industry. Otherwise, industries will disappear if you, if you don't learn and adapt to the, to the new changing ways. Yeah, basically because the exhibitions really help people in connecting globally whenever the people come down to a, attend exhibitions. And, and uh, showcase their brands and the products so that in that way they can open a different new segment or the market for themselves and for the new investors. So, Mr. Armour, what type of exhibitions do you really enjoy in organizing under the banner of OITE? And what is your whole experience by organizing the exhibitions? So there are certain different aspects of organizing exhibitions, you know, but there are certain brands and products in different industry, which I'm sure you must be enjoying to bring them to Oman to organize those exhibitions. So what is those brand? What are those brands and the products you really enjoy? Sure. Uh, that's, that's a really good question. Uh, for OITE, uh, for our exhibitions, they've always been about bringing foreign direct investment into Oman bringing new, new companies that have never been here before, by encouraging companies to set up offices, uh, to bring their products and service, and also to come and buy from, local, uh, from, 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 from the local economy, uh, services and products from local producers. So we've always been about um, uh, foreign, uh, foreign investment into Amman, about the connection between Amman and the rest of the world. So the question about our exhibitions, I mean, two of our flag, flagship exhibitions really are COMEX, which is Amman's technology show, which we've been organizing for the last 30 years. This is our longest running show. We've been organizing every year for the last 30 years. Uh, this year was supposed to have been the 30th anniversary. So we had a very big uh, exhibition planned. Uh, unfortunately, this has now been delayed. Thank you. Now been delayed until the upcoming year. Uh, so COMEX is about technology. It's about gadgets. It's about the latest trends. Um, it's all about, you know, for example, um, uh, big data, artificial intelligence, um, machine learning, uh, all these kind of concepts which are really, really groundbreaking and can have an application in many different areas. You know, it's, uh, for us, it was about bringing these technologies into the sectors where Amman is focusing on. So as you may know, uh, in part, as part of Amman's government overall strategy, we're focusing on certain areas such as logistics and ports, um, um, aviation, um, training, skill development, Mm -hmm. These, uh, and of course, of course, um, uh, tourism, but these are all areas that technology can really drive uh, our, our industries forward. So by bringing the, the latest technology, by bringing the latest experts to our man to attend our COMEX exhibition, 
the, the value that we add to the whole technology community in Oman and the rest of the world is, is, is endless, really. And uh, uh, for us, the, I mean, uh, all, all the types of brands, you know them. I mean, from, um, uh, from, from Apple to GBM, you have the local telecom companies already do Amantel. Now, now the third telecom company in Amman, Vodafone, which is setting up, uh, currently setting up. It's, it's going to be a very exciting time in Amman's tech field. And I think it's an opportunity to, for Amman to really start to compete with some of the more advanced nations in the world. So uh, this is kind of uh, COMEX, uh, as, as, as you've asked for. Um, the, the other main exhibition, if you'd like me to, to quickly talk about that, is, uh, is GEDEX, which is our global higher education exhibition. So we've been organizing this, this exhibition for... You're talking about GEDEX, right? Correct, correct, yeah. correct. Okay. So, so this is uh, uh, the higher education training and skill, skill development um, exhibition, uh, uh, GEDEX, which we've organized for the last 20 years. So this exhibition has taken hundreds of thousands of, uh, of Amanis abroad to study in uh, universities across the world, um, uh, where we bring, in, we bring over, um, um, we bring over, I think it is 50 universities, uh, sorry, 250 universities uh, to, to the exhibition center for, for three days. Uh, universities from UK, US, Australia, Japan, I mean, you, you name them, all the top universities. Uh, of course, we work very closely with the Ministry of, of, of previously the Ministry of Higher Education, uh, which has is, which is now, now been rebranded, I believe, as the Ministry of Higher Education and Innovation and, and Research. Uh, for students to come and to come and meet these universities, uh, uh, of course, all the scholarships are offered uh, by by the ministry for Amanis to go and study abroad. We have the local universities as well who have really benefited from this exhibition because it's an exchange of know-how, of knowledge. So our local institutions have also really benefited from meeting these international universities. Um, for example, the University GU Tech, which is a very famous one here in Oman, all about engineering. Uh, Caledonian College for the uh, Yeah, so, so, so I mean, there's Caledonian, there's uh, um, uh, Muscat University with Strathclyde, Bedford University, Cranford University, GU Tech. Many, many of these who, once they've attended our exhibition, have decided to set up their own campus or partner with, uh, with a local institution within Oman. Uh, so that's very exciting for us, bringing knowledge, uh, training and skills into the country. Because this is what our country really needs now. When we, if we want to compete at the next level, we want to bring experts in the, in, in the country. We want, we want to have talented Omanis uh, and expats in our country to help develop all our industries, to get to that critical mass where uh, we, 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 we have enough demand in our local companies to start to bring in that international investment. So uh, those are our two kind of flagship events. Um, of course, we have many other. But for me, those are the two which which I really enjoy and I'm really proud to be part of. We all are proud of you and especially about Oman's market that's always growing and it's really amazing to see the wonderful people coming and investing in Oman. So my yes. question, you know, I would like to put across to you would be that have you ever heard any positive feedback from the international investors when they come and attend and participate under your banner of OITE in exhibitions, what feedback they give about Oman overall and about the company and the growth in Oman they see when they invest in Oman? What do you have to say on that? So for us, exhibitions is a passion. Like I said, we're really selling Oman. So when we bring organizations and people into Oman, uh, it's not just a business. It's not just a business-to-business -business relationship. We want them to really come and enjoy the country, uh, to really understand the ben the unique benefits that our that our country has. And there's many. I mean, Oman, as you know, Masro, you lived you've lived here for. You have a very strong connection to the country. Uh, and of course, you know, we're not just saying this as uh, because of our love for the country, but it's a very unique and different country. It's a very young and it's a very young um, country, which means that there's so much opportunity uh, here to 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 benefit and, and grow from, forge long-term alliances. I mean, if you just look at the location of Oman, the, uh, in, in terms of its geography, you know, on, on the Indian Ocean, on the Arabian Sea, kind of everything, all the transport of goods and people are going to be going through Oman's waters. Uh, we have a young population who are ready to, 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 to work, to learn, to, to invent. Um, 
it's a really it's a very beautiful country i mean I, I don't think there's many more beautiful countries in oman in in the whole world with the landscape the hospitality of the of 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 the people i mean many people come here for the first time are really are, are really shocked about how 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 kind uh, how uh, the level of hospitality that you experience here and that is in all spheres not just the social sphere i mean even uh, even when it comes to um, when it comes to business uh, you know all your business partners become your family your friends uh, I, I think there's a lot that Oman has to has to offer. It's a young country. It's developing. It's an exciting time for for the country. So these are all the. Uh, I mean, this this is the feedback we get from our own exhibitors, from our own clients. Uh, so so alhamdulillah, that's kind of the positive feedback that that we've been receiving for, for for many years now. Are you seeing there's any lack of stuff missing in Oman which you need and you feel that needs to be in Oman through under the exhibitions where you can get down to people? of different brands which are in all other countries like in Europe in the US as you have already lived in UK and you have seen the mm -hmm. life how the people have been living their lives in UK in Europe so do you feel there's something missing in Oman which you really want to bring in Oman for the growth and so the economy can be running in Oman through your support and you're under mm -hmm. your company's banner Sure, sure. So I mean, of course, there's there's always many gaps in 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 the Omani market uh, because uh, there's still so much opportunity where companies haven't set up yet or products and brands uh, which 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 they haven't set up. Um, for us specifically, um, in terms of products and services relating to like um, retail and brands, that's not something which our company has really been involved in. Our our events are more from a kind of um, uh, overarching strategic government level kind of um, uh, kind of exhibition. So all the major industries which I mentioned, which is logistics, um, uh, uh, environment, renewable energy. Renewable energy, of course, as you know, uh, Oman with the focus now coming for solar, solar energy, solar power. This, I think, is going to be a real, real big uh, um, game changer for, for, for the country. So companies that are involved in all levels of, uh, of, of um, uh, solar power and energy, I think would do very well in, in Oman. Uh, all organizations who are experts in logistics, transport, aviation, tourism. Tourism has, hasn't even taken off really in the country. I mean, you can just see the, the, the potential for, for tourism uh, in this country. So it's, it's huge potential in tourism sector, which I see you playing a great role in getting down different people, basically because I, when I was in Oman, I came to know that there's a huge potential in the tourism industry for different countries, like tourists should come down to Oman after Dubai or the other Middle East countries where they explore the beautification of Oman. So I think you have really great potential in the tourism industry. Correct, correct, um, as far as so. As I said, uh, we're very happy to to be involved with all 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 companies who are uh, interested to come and find out about Oman. Oman hasn't hasn't marketed it itself enough, and this is kind of our responsibility now to really go out there and tell them that uh, this is a country which is worth investing in, and we are we are your gateway to Oman. I mean, we have the network, the connections. The research, the know-how to to get you to the right people, to get your right suppliers, to get the right uh, clients, partners, investors. Uh, the whole distri distribution uh, and supply chain is all here and ready, and we're happy to to put everyone in touch for the for the benefit of, of the country as a whole. So this question is really important, and I'm sure all the followers of yours and mine would definitely like to have the answers for that. Since because of COVID-19, there was a huge potential and the people were anxiously waiting for this expo to happen, which is 2020 expo happening in Dubai from all yeah. around the world, the investors, the consumers, the tourists, they wanted to attend this exhibition this year. But unfortunately, because of different circumstances, this could not happen this year and it's been postponed for next year. So how do you see Oman participating in 2020 expo and what type of uh, ideas you have for 2020 Expo, which people are looking forward for next year to join and participate. And if you're participating, so what are you participating in 2020 Expo for? Sure. So Dubai 20, uh, 2020 Expo, which is of course now become uh, 2021, uh, is 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 a huge, huge event. Which uh, it's it's a global event. 
uh, where uh, it, uh, it's 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 something equivalent or even bigger than the World Cup, for example, the the FIFA Football World Cup. It lasts for for it lasts for months on end. Uh, people, um, countries have whole areas, whole pavilions at at, at the expo, show, showcasing and selling their um, and selling their country. Uh, as you know, of course, uh, Oman is 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 always as always happy to represent itself and market itself. So Oman, Oman is uh, has has invested uh, in, in into the expo. Oman will be there in a very proud way. Will be showcasing everything it has to offer uh, from from all the industries, from all aspects that Oman Oman has uh, uh, any has any potential to uh, to grow, uh, and also to see how Oman can partner with all the other countries. Of course, uh, as I mentioned, as I mentioned, exhibitions are all about partnership, collaboration, and opportunity. So. Of course, all organizing com uh, uh, companies such as ourselves are going to have a role in in, in encouraging uh, organizations to to attend, to participate, uh, and of course, as Dubai is our is our is, is right on our on our doorstep and our neighbor, we have very good relations with them. Uh, it's an opportunity for us to showcase Oman to the world as well. So this is what our role our role at this event is going to happen, and we're very excited for it. Definitely. Even I'm excited to ha uh, for 2020 Expo to happen so that I can attend next year, inshallah. And I'm sure I will be able to see you in that Expo meeting together for, and have a great time in 2020 Expo. Of course, of course. I'm looking forward to, to meeting you then, inshallah, before as well. Definitely. It will be an honor for me to meet you. I'm sure we didn't get a chance to meet when we were in one, but since you were in London and I, I came back to Pakistan, but inshallah, there is a dream and definitely we will catch up and we will definitely meet and share different business ideas as well. <laughs> for sure, for sure. There's many, many things to talk about, many things happening. I think always keep a positive attitude, always, always look out for what's happening. Uh, and I think many things will happen. So I think that's, that's a mess, my, my main message. Do you have any uh, future plans to tap the potential of Pakistani market and the brands as well for your exhibition so that since I'm sitting here I can tap, help you out in connecting with different people out here in Pakistan. So why don't you try and tap Pakistan market as well? Of, of course, I mean we're, we're always looking out for, for all markets. All markets have their own niche areas, have their own um, uh, speciality. Uh, of course, we've worked very closely with many countries uh, in, um, including Pakistan We've held, we've also held events, uh, of course, outside of Oman. I mean, many of our exhibitions in the past have been held in in um, North Africa, East Africa, Iran, uh, India, um, the rest of the GCC. So, for us and for me personally, my aim is to really take OIT to the next level and to start to compete on a regional level. Um, so, in terms of Pakistan, of course, I mean, we've we've um, we've been working closely with the uh, Embassy of Pakistan here in Oman. Uh, with various uh, agents in in Pakistan as well, who are helping us to to attract. I know that Pakistan is is very advanced in in tech and technology, which fits in very well to our to our Comex exhibition. So um, we're very happy to speak with tech companies based in Pakistan, all the young entrepreneurs uh, in in Pakistan who are happy to to come to Oman to see what what demand is. I mean, many of their products and services would be in big demand over here. Um, uh, any any universities from from, from Pakistan where Omani uh, uh, Omani students would, would 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 like to study or, or train uh, any any um, products relating to the environment uh, you know in terms of renewable energy any any um, products relating to to water to sustainability uh, anything relating to facility management the upkeep and the kind of renewal and maintenance of of buildings and 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 infrastructure there, there, there's 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 so much that that can be brought from pakistan into oman and pakistan again is right on our doorstep so uh, thank you for 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 mentioning this point and i think i'll be in touch with you after after this this meeting to discuss how how we can how we can encourage a, a closer relationship between the two countries definitely we always know that oman pakistan always have a friendly relations and they always help and stand with each other in all the issues and all the upcoming stuff together basically because i have great omani friends i have grown up with them and i can see a great friendship for pakistan and oman in a longer run of course pakistan is always very friendly in oman and uh, there will always be a friend for this country so mr Amr, before we wrap up our session where do you see oite heading after the COVID? 
and mm -hmm. where do you want to see OIT in next five years? That would be the real important question for you, for sure. That's a very good question. I mean, I think the way that I see the future for OITE is to take even more of a strategic position uh, in, in the country in terms of really helping the government to understand how better to, to market uh, our industries in, in, in the country. Because, of course, it's not only the government's responsibility, it's, it's a private sector. So what I want to see being built is a coalition, an alliance of uh, the major players uh, in our industry, for example, the, the aviation industry, the exhibition industry, hospitality, um, linking this uh, into kind of one alliance to really attract the, the, the best talent, the best products into the country to grow our own local ecosystem over here. This is where I want OITE to be heavily involved in. And of course, we already have very close connections with stakeholders in the country. But I'm thinking beyond that. I'm thinking we should have a coalition with other countries around us in the region, like you mentioned, Pakistan, the rest of the GCC. The Middle East needs a lot of development. The Middle East is going to experience a lot of growth. So we want to be at the forefront. We want to lend our expertise so that they can develop uh, these areas. We are kind of the link between different organizations. Because what I've noticed in Oman, maybe other countries as well, many organizations, but they, uh, they might have shared interests. However, they're not maybe working in line and streamline as much as they should be. So our role, our network, with our with our with our skills, is able to kind of get this going. So for me, it's all about collaboration, international collaboration, and that's where I really see Oman or OIT, OITE going forward and the country as well. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. I appreciate it. <laughs> you know, one of my very close friend, uh, Omani friend, when I was in Oman, he showed uh, he came up with this slogan. I'm sure this slogan has been read many places in Oman. Think local. Be global. Correct. Correct. Okay. It's so all about that? thinking local. It's all about thinking global. Um, and uh, it's, uh, it's in, I think it's encouraging the youth, Masroor, is what we're really doing. At, mm -hmm. uh, I didn't mention this element of youth. I mean, youth is at the forefront of, of all of our work. Uh, yeah. Kind of the young people, the professionals coming to our exhibitions and events and seeing what opportunity, what, what, what opportunity there is. And I mean, I think the sky is the limit for, 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 for these people, really. I encourage all the Omani upcoming young talent, whether they're males or females, they should look up to you as a great entrepreneur who's leading a great company after you have transformed yourself from the education which you got from London. So there should be a very positive message coming from your side now for all the Omani talent, how they should be pro prospering and helping Oman grow. So what positive message you would like to give your Omani people to learn from you by watching you. What is that positive message? I think the positive, um, I think the positive message is that uh, there's always opportunity at your doorstep. I think keep pushing, keep challenging yourself. Uh, there's always that opportunity uh, if, 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 if you never give up. Uh, have a real passion, uh, uh, no matter what that passion is. I mean, the, the world is so big, um, opportunity is so big that uh, that passion can lead you into so many different directions. and. Really, I think, really respect the relationships and the network that you keep. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, from your friends, from your colleagues, uh, and I think keep keep striving. And I think, you know, in terms of training, uh, in terms of keeping your training up up to date, in terms of learning new knowledge, uh, new skills, in terms of marketing yourself, your company, your organization. Um, I, I think it's. Passion is, is the main thing. I think by having a passion, uh, you will really get to where, where, where you want to be. You know, you, you, with your personality, what I feel and I really believe that you have, you're a great per person who can motivate the youth in Oman through by working hard and looking up to you how they can change themselves. You should start making positive uh, motivational videos to encourage your youth. Do you agree with me for that? I mean, for me, many of these positive uh, uh, role models, you know, that 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 I've had in, in in my life, to be able to be one of those for for the youth, of course. I mean, that would be an honor and uh, and uh, and a pleasure to be able to do that. And I think that being at OITE, organizing events such as this, is a good platform for me to to be able to do that and to bring others, encourage others to do the same. It's all a responsibility for all of us. Definitely, definitely, definitely. You are an amazing human being, mashallah. May Allah Thank bless you. you.
Post. So before you leave, I would like a small shout out from Mr. Amr Abdullah Babu, being a great human being and a great personality from uh, promoting his own company and he's an entrepreneur. So why don't you give a shout out to all my followers if they can to join and subscribe Mac Clubs. A great message from your side would be wonderful for you. Uh, from everyone, as, as Masrur has said, I mean, he's, he's a great guy. Uh, uh, from from the actual little time that I've known him, uh, he's he's always kept me entertained and uh, uh, kind of showing me the passion that he's had for everything he's done. So please do sign up to Mac Vlogs. Please do follow Masrur. I wish him all the best. You know, he's he's out there to to really help all of us to get information from all of us to have a sharing platform. So Masrur, thank you for everything. Mac Vlogs. I wish you guys all the best, and uh, I would love to be back in the future. <laughs> Thank you so much. You would be definitely back on my channel again, basically, because I need you and we need to encourage the youth around the world. With the people like you and me, we can definitely bring a change. So thank you so much, Mr. Amr Abdullah Babu, for being a great guest for your busy schedule. Thank you once again for being my guest. I really appreciate thank you. your time. Thank you for everything. It's a pleasure, Mr. O. Keep it up and we'll be in touch soon. Thank you so much. So everyone, before you go, don't stop. I mean, don't forget to press the bell icon and subscribe button on MacLogs and subscribe and help me keep on bringing wonderful human beings and the personalities and the speakers and the celebrities as well for my show so that we can learn and educate ourselves and change the way we live. It's really important. Thank you so much, everyone. See you soon with my next guest, upcoming guest. Take care. Good evening. Bless you all. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum.